it's another day of uh, Arctic blast outside. Uh, it is <laughs> it's still very, very cold. But inside, it's toasty warm because I'm standing uh, in front of the cooker uh, preparing lots of food for the week. Uh, so, uh, I've started off with uh, making some chicken stock. That's one of our homegrown chickens uh, that came out of the freezer a few days ago. Uh, we ate it uh, as a roast chicken meal and then uh, we ate a second meal uh, using some more of the breast meat uh, and some of the leg meat. I've now got it uh, boiling away in some water uh, with onions and carrots uh, and some herbs in it to make uh, a stock but then I will also use uh, all the meat that I pull off the bones uh, to make another meal with uh, once that's finished cooking. So we we very definitely uh, from every chicken get at least uh, four meals for the two of us uh, and some stock and very often five or six meals uh, and some stock which in my mind makes one of our chickens which cost us around 15 to 20 pounds to raise uh, well worth the money because we're getting so many meals from it so this morning uh, I'm going to make up some small cakes uh, for Mr J uh, I can have in the freezer uh, take a couple out at a time uh, there goes Monty. Uh, take a couple out at a time uh, as and when he wants them uh, and so those are going to be uh, a small uh, almond bun. Now I can't eat nuts uh, but Mr J particularly likes almonds uh, so I have ground almonds for him. Uh, I'm going to be popping on some gloves to make these cakes just to make sure I don't get it on my hands and then uh, touch, my, touch my mouth afterwards. So first stop some almond cakes. This is made um, just using a, a fairly standard uh, Victoria sponge recipe, and there we go. Don't want to stir it too much because obviously it's got the uh, it's got the gluten in it, and I don't want it to start going tough. So next to do is pop these into little cake cases uh, and get them in the oven. So that's Mr J's cakes uh, into the oven and they'll take oh, about 12 to 15 minutes to cook, uh, maybe a little bit longer because the uh, because of the almond in them but you know, I'll play it by ear and, uh, and obviously I'm not going to test them <laughs> when they come out I'll use a cocktail stick popped into them and uh, make sure that when I've pulled it out it um, comes out clean and then they'll be ready. One of the other tasks I want to do today uh, is to cook off a load of uh, rice. Uh, I quite like to cook rice and then I uh, cool it down very quickly as soon as it's cooked and then get it straight into the freezer uh, and then it's safe to uh, to use. Uh, when we take it out of the freezer uh, we pop it into the microwave, heat it and we don't save uh, any of it. So I, I put it into fairly small portions that we know we're going to be able to eat. Uh, so uh, pan of <laughs> pan of water on the go and the only thing I add to the rice uh, is some sea salt and our preferred rice uh, is a red rice so it looks <laughs> like this it's red um, it has several different names uh, red rice, kamar rice and I cook it a kilo at a time and I think a kilo is 2.2 uh, pounds uh, I think so that would be uh, two pounds that'd be two pounds three ounces something like that so I'll just leave that to cook until it's soft and then pour it through a sieve and immediately get it under very cold water, uh, which today is not a problem because the water coming out of the tap is very cold. Uh, so it will cool that rice down very quickly. It will stop it cooking any further uh, and then I can immediately portion it up and get it into the freezer. So while that's cooking, uh, I've just been catching up uh, on a vlog or two. Uh, that I'm now watching on a daily basis. It's a young man from London uh, and his channel is called Pee Wee Toms and, uh, and I'd like to encourage you to go and have a look uh, at his vlog. It's not easy watching. Um, he has cancer. Uh, it is at the moment an incurable cancer and he is striving very hard to build a community and raise awareness 
uh, and he he is going to fund this community but my feeling is that if we can get his uh, viewing hours up to where they need to be uh, he can monetize his videos and help fund uh, some of the community he's building and he wants to build a community that will help people that will uh, will find some answers and I expect as time goes on uh, he will have a clearer understanding of exactly what it is that he wants to build um, but uh, unless something else changes uh, his vlogs are going to be time limited um, it is a highly aggressive cancer that he's got uh, and as I said at the moment it's incurable uh, so uh, so serious stuff but he is such a nice chap he has got such a positive attitude he you know in, in the vlog that I've just watched uh, he says he's not going to go down without a fight um, and he wants to do as much as he can to help other people uh, in his situation in the future. Uh, hats off to you, young man. That's, um, yeah, it's a great place to be. So I, I'm watching his vlogs every day. He had just a, a few hundred subscribers when I found him uh, in the last week. He's gained uh, <laughs> well over a thousand subscribers. So the the ball is rolling. Uh, he has his her channel has gained momentum so I'm going to put a link uh, to his channel up here uh, and I would uh, I will invite you and encourage you uh, to go and have a look and show this young man um, some support he's not asking uh, for money from anyone he's not asking for sympathy from anyone um, he just wants to try and raise awareness good man so back to the rice it has finished cooking uh, I've drained it off. This is cold water it's in. So I'm just going to drain that off and carry on going through the rest of the pan uh, and draining it and uh, getting it very cold in small batches. And then I'll get it into the, uh, the tubs that are going to go into the freezer. Well the rice is now all portioned up and uh, ready for me to label. Uh, I just label what it is, uh, what date it was cooked and frozen because that means if there are other portions in the freezer which there aren't at the moment uh, but when there are uh, I'll make sure that we eat them uh, in rotation uh, eating the oldest ones first uh, so these need to get in you can see they're not, you know it's not a huge amount but there's nine ounces of rice cooked rice in there and that is plenty uh, for a meal uh, for Mr J and I uh, as an accompaniment to uh, a stir fry uh, or anything else and um, for me to have nine of these uh, sitting in the freezer waiting for us means that I don't have that 20 minute wait uh, while it's cooking uh, or with red rice that can even be uh, half an hour or more uh, it just helps uh, with the instant meals and it also helps uh, when Mr J needs to uh, heat something up for us uh, he can grab one of these uh, and a stir fry out of the freezer and just to heat them up and then we have got a, a nutritious home cooked meal without having to cook it at the time and uh, and I've also made a batch of, uh, of gluten free cake mix uh, this is this is predominantly for me in fact this is all for me uh, it's got a mashed banana in it I know Mr J doesn't like uh, banana in cakes so he's got the almond ones which I can't eat uh, I've got banana ones uh, which he doesn't like so that's us sorted while I was putting the rice into the freezer I found this tub of chocolate butter icing uh, this was some excess from January and so I've now got that ready so that when the banana cakes come out of the oven I can dip them into the chocolate chocolate and banana cake yum well that's it for me today I'm going to carry on cooking and now the sun's come out hopefully uh, the hose has defrosted uh, and I can go and fill the ducks water buckets and so wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today I hope you can stay warm and I also hope you can join me again tomorrow.